Apparently Diddy is way worse than we thought. Might know this information, but we're gonna find out anyway. Oh! I like when you like this, Daddy. Wow. Wait, this is whoa. Wow. Whoa. Hold up. Wait, lock in. Lock yeah, in. Like, lock lock in. That's him. That's Daddy. I like when you when you scrambling and scraping for shit. Fabulous, fight back! Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, it's, it's not a good I mean, look, bro. You try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, the, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But why are you breaking up? Why he, he is nervous? He's nervous. He never really got, got my number, so right. okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Try. See, come out and play. Oh, wow. he does own Ciroc. He does. And Ciroc be putting you on your. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, you wanna do wait. a laugh you drink today? Ow. Huh? Now? Like in the stream. Okay, we're gonna order that. Yeah, you laugh? Yeah, 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 yeah. No Ciroc. Do we oh. gotta drink Ciroc? Alright, YouTube, we paused the recording because we just realized Aaron's drunkest moment was off of Ciroc. Diddy's drink, okay? Oh, they removed Diddy from Ciroc? Wow! But anyway, Aaron's drunkest moment was off of Ciroc. When Simba posted these screenshots, this is him. There's a 12 minute video that he will not allow her to release to the public because we were both in the backseat gone. When I say we were both gone, I was just talking and he was yelling at me. I, he was just yelling at me, twin. <laughs> He snatched Simba phone, and that's where this came from. That Diddy juice is crazy, bro. I swear to God. Yeah, that's uh, never. I, I, hey, look, that's never hit the. Yeah, internet. that can't hit the streets, bro. That's not, that can't hit the streets. That's not hit the internet that, at all, bro. That that's not hit the internet at all, bro. Oh, so, all it. That, hey, Simba, give us a couple more screenshots. But that video, screenshots are great. Bro. You want her? You want the screenshot from you on the ground? I don't give a damn. Those screenshots are hilarious, nigga. I was talking. That nigga say, "Shut up." For no reason, bro. Simba, stop, bro. Please. <laughs> give us, a, give please, us some gold, bro. please. Oh, please, bro. Hey, let us know. Bonds, pin Simba when she let us know when she released the screenshot. We're going to look at him. All right, here we go. Why'd you move to LA? Oh, for the kids. There oh, are no whoa. misconceptions about me. Yeah. Where do you go to relax in the world? Uh, I like the Caribbean. <laughs> Diddy, Diddy. I don't even know where to start. Diddy might actually Nay, get appreciate the sub. for his money. Honestly, he might even be worse. But before I start this video, everything I'm about to say is a legend. Y'all not about to sue my ass over this video. So this whole Diddy situation started with one person, and her name is Cassie. Now, if you don't know who she is, she's a popular yeah. singer who made this song. I love to get too long. I'm here to now don't get yeah. me wrong, people in Hollywood have known hey, that Diddy's freak. weird for years. Cause freak. Diddy be wanting to body, and you gotta tell him no. no. But yeah. Cassie was the start yeah. of his downfall. So after being in a relationship with Diddy for 11 years and finally mm -hmm. splitting up, Cassie basically threatened Diddy telling him that she would write a book revealing all that she knows. But she gave him she an out. She all told right. him, you're welcome to buy the rights of the book for $30 million. <laughs> and honestly, Diddy being a billionaire, he should have took the offer. But instead, he did? he did this. 2016, allegedly uh, Holmes assaulted uh, a uh, How the fuck did he get away with putting that in the video? What the fuck? Because that news is actually from the news. Whoa. That's actually from the news. Whoa. So Cassie talks to her lawyers, and they decide to make it a civil case. <coughs> that way, they could go to court and possibly win millions. And so surprise, surprise, all of a sudden, Diddy pays the $30 million. But at that point, it was way too late. Come up, but I mean, she went through the case and the decade that of that hell. case was a criminal case and if you know anything about criminal justice once the feds start getting on your ass you're basically cooked they yeah, started gathering you're evidence done. on this man for years okay i'm a, i'm a, i'm actually gonna correct you it didn't start with cassie public eye of the situation started with cassie yeah it actually right. started a year ago with uh, i think it was like his security guard or somebody su was suing diddy and he was outing all this information. Mm -hmm. And nobody took it serious. Until the Cassie brought it to court and it put the light on it. And then after that, it pushed it even further. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine. Right? Now, he deserve it, though. He deserve it. But imagine. Somebody sue you. You're like, I ain't taking that serious. Oh, but I got you. You're like, all right, we'll settle. 30 million. You got it. Chill, twin. Chill, twin. And the law's like, that's nice and all, but that's a criminal case. You're going down, buddy. So not only did you just pay 30 million, you're done. Because it's like, you're done. How do you, how do you? 
How does it get picked up if it's settled? That's what always gets me. What you mean? The case. Because they was like, oh, this ain't regular. This is cri These are criminal acts. You need to go to jail, sir. Got you. You need to go to jail. And remember how I said Cassie got paid that $30 million for that book? Once people heard about that, everybody started coming forward with their own story, basically trying yeah, to dog. pocket whatever money they can. And obviously, whatever information they brought forth was useful because now they have enough evidence to make an arrest. Is this him getting arrested? Yeah. No way. No way! No way! He's charged with three things. Racketeering, which for those of you who don't know, is when you God have a legal company ass. and you use it to do illegal things. That's the simple definition. And then we got sex trafficking by force. And the last yeah. one, transportation yeah. to engage in prostitution. Yeah. This nigga is cooked. Yeah. Okay, what is yeah. transportation is? Like transporting- He was bringing them across the line. He was bringing the, 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 the S workers, the SWs. Oh. He was probably oh. finding them on the internet. The only, only, the only friends, girls. He was transporting them across state lines to pay them to engage in that. Obviously, probably so, at his freak off. So, like, what do you mean by transporting? Just flying them out, driving them across. It's as simple as that. You fly out a, a only friends girl that's doing meetups. Not that. That's that charge. Meetups or prostitution, sir. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's done. He's done. He's done. <laughs> So apparently word around town is Diddy has these free costs, which are these giant parties where he brings sex workers and celebrities and basically they have a Diddy party. It's, bro, it's different if you doing it for yourself. You doing this for the game. You doing this for the love of the game, bro. You doing this to sit back on the couch and just, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do the motion, but like. Like, bro, it's one thing right, if you crazy. like, yeah, I'm gonna pay you for me, baby girl. But, yeah, but, but you like, I'm paying you for this party. <laughs> <laughs> and they ain't about to steal it. Like, for, for the love of the homies, bro. Bro. I'll let Diddy himself describe what a Diddy party is like. Now, we need um alcohols. Right. Alcohols. Right. Not just Alls. one alcohol. Alcohols. Right. Just Florals. different blend. You need Blends. the ladies, you need the booze. You need um some water. <laughs> okay. For watering plants? No. no, no, I don't know if guys have noticed this, like a lot of ladies. Drink water at parties. They right. just, you know, so you have, if you don't have what they need, they're gonna leave. Right. Gotta right. keep them there. Uh, right. You need, you need locks on the doors. That uh, might have been a joke then, but that shit uh, definitely isn't a joke now. Uh, it's uh, sounding kind of dangerous now. It's a little kinky, but yeah, you know. Yeah. Yo! He was giving us the signs! He was giving us He's the signs. Oh my He's god. Oh my god. Now you need um a lot of heat. A lot heat. of heat. Yeah. Heat. You mean the, So motherfuckers are in there musty. You don't have no air conditioning. No air conditioning. No. Why is that? Heat affects the alcohol, and it also affects like um, you know everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose. Builds up a nice Dude. sweat. This nigga got a PhD in freakyology. Dude, dude, Bro. he has it down to a science. If I get you drunk I'm and off these hot. and off these other substances, I'm gonna turn the heat up. Turn the heat up so it flows and gets you more comfortable. And now you got locks on the doors with Bro, the. This, 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 also, <laughs> he had IVs ready for them to go after the party was over so they can recover. This nigga's sick. He's sick. He's a sicko. Depends on the way you look at it. Depends. Oh, yeah. people start getting kind of, it gets kind of sexy. Is yeah. that what you're saying? There's only one He's way to look sick. at it. You got a bunch of strangers in the room, musty as hell. And I don't care what type of shower you take or what type of cologne, perfume you use. You wow. stay in that heat long enough, you gonna start smelling like Badusi. And with this new police report that says they found a thousand bottles of baby oil in Diddy's residence, I can only imagine how sloppy and disgusting these parties are. <laughs> and oh yeah, I can't forget to mention that Diddy has a all black wow. soundproof basketball court with that has two, two beds. beds. How worst, are you proud? Look, the worst part is a tweet going viral that, Alle said, that allegedly that Diddy was that Diddy had them running full court basketball game starch like in the buff full game games, bro. Running full game. Now it makes sense as to why these two beds are on the the beds are blocking where you play. Why are there beds on a basketball court? Diddy? Let me say Twitter. This some next level freak shit. Why are there beds on the basketball court? 
it. <laughs> so nobody's gonna question why there's two beds in a basketball court? What was y'all freaky ass niggas doing in there? Facts. Playing 1v1s for some booty? Those are some pretty high stake games. Niggas were playing to 21 I for don't, some sexual favors. See this I don't understand why you would be proud to post any clips on this basketball court. With bed, there's no reason for a bed to be there. You got me questioning LeBron, cause I know he be at these parties. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party. Though. Yeah, that's what's up. And ain't no way this nigga okay. ain't get on that court. Bro, I'm really starting. I give LeBron the benefit of the doubt. I think, because we all know LeBron's a known liar at times. I think he was just saying that because he was just on the live and he know Diddy parties are things. He's like, ain't no party like a Diddy party. That's what I think, personally. Yeah. He might have been to a Diddy party, but not a. Fr I don't think LeBron's been to a freak off. Okay, until we know for sure LeBron's been to a freak off, I can't believe it. Not gonna lie. I think he's been to a regular party. I can't believe that. Yeah, I can't believe that one. I can't believe that one. I'm starting to think that any person that regularly hangs around Diddy probably got diddified. They're diddlers now. They all belong in Diddy land. Yeah, my sunshine ain't been to no Diddy party, bro. just got sold on the dark net, which I know because I monitor. Went for 500 million. It had multiple sold on the now. They all belong in Diddy land. The last freak off tape that just got sold on the dark net, which I know because I monitor, went for 500 million. It had multiple stars in it. Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, Drake. Drake? <laughs> Drake? It was a really interesting night in Calabasas and he just sold that footage. The thing I find most- MCMB? If it sold for 500 mil, bro, if I'm that person, I'm dropping it. I'm dropping that. I'm dropping it, I'm bro. dropping that. I ain't even gonna lie. I bought this. I'm dropping Justin. I'm dropping it. Oh. Justin, 500 million. It had multiple stars in it. Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, Chris Brown, Justin <gasps> Bieber, Drake. Drake? <laughs> Drake? Breezy! It was a really Rihanna? interesting night in Calabasas. And he just sold that footage. The thing I find most insane about this whole situation is how this nigga Diddy wasn't investigated any sooner. When you see the clips I'm about to- Nah, Chad, hold on, Chad. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. Crimson, appreciate the sub. Drake, we, we could have guessed we, we was gonna hear that name. All right? Rihanna. Um, Justin Bieber, we could have guessed we was gonna hear that name. Why are we skipping over Nicki Minaj, Rihanna? See, Breezy, some people probably would have expected to hear that name. Rihanna! We not gonna skip over this shit just because y'all like Rihanna and Nicki. What are we doing? That's insane. Let's, let's, let's get into it, bro. What are we doing? Yeah, you'll understand just how suspect this guy is. You know, the reason why Diddy is so terrifying isn't just because he's a freaky ass nigga. It's also because this nigga is fearless. And I mean that in every oh, sense the Mike of the Tyson word. Club? Okay, let's see if you can guess the person oh, yeah. I'm thinking about. He once had a face tattoo. He once was a heavyweight yep. world champion. Whoa, whoa, and he's also whoa, someone whoa. you just do not want to fuck with. Now, if oh, you when Mike he was Tyson, on the... You're correct. Now I want you to watch yeah, the video this, that yeah. has with a young Mike Tyson. We're not talking about old Mike Tyson right now. He's a this wise proud. guy, you know. He, he's this learning to control his young. temper. We're talking about a young Mike Tyson. It, it truly is about the Benjamin, yeah. as we see. Oh yes, he's, he's literally. What's he trying to do with his hand? Well, now when we come back, we're gonna talk yeah, more about the knock you hang out more than welcome stick around, my brother. Oh, Y'all remember how I said Diddy is a fearless freak? Yeah, this nigga not only made Mike Tyson uncomfortable, but he did it on live television. Mike Tyson. I'm talking Iron Mike Tyson. The nigga who was knocking niggas out left and right. The nigga who was he finishing fights the first round. And just look at his face, bro. He the nigga he is stunned. Bro is baffled that his freaky ass little diddler plan didn't work. And you know you got issues when you got Drake saying that he studied you. After that rap beef with Kendrick, y'all already know how Drake get down. So if Drake is studying Diddy, just imagine how much worse Diddy is. This nigga is the OG freak. Professor Freak Off. This nigga is one of the founding fathers of this freaky shit. Obviously, like you want to talk about studying, talking about the other day. You know, we 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 studied you since since Howard days. You know, since you were since you since those uh, I, I studied the stories that Spoon used to tell me from Howard days. What stories are we talking about? Drake, what this in what Drake. way? The pursuit of booty? Else that could tell me that, that where where it means more because you've seen it all, done it all. Drake. Now, all my brothers behind me, we're trying to do the same thing, following your footsteps. You know, every night we're out here pounding the pavement. Bro, what are, what, why does, it, why does it sound like he's um blazing? He is. But it's like, at the position Drake's in, he doesn't need to. I'm talking about the diddler himself. Yeah. Who you think had more power before all of this came out? He's blazing the fuck out. Or at least, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't be surprised if Drake was at the Diddy party. So I'm not gonna lie. But this sounds like classic, I'm on live with Diddy, so I'm gonna glaze him. I'm gonna, oh, I'm studied you. And da, 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 da. I wouldn't be surprised if he was at Diddy party. Yeah. But that's what this sounds like, regardless of if he was there or not. Yeah. What we can do 
and we all take care of each other. So it's I ain't gonna lie, that's too many trigger words for me. It feels like there's a hidden message here. I'm saying it. We about to check it. We about to check it. I ain't never seen Drake dick ride this hard. Oh, shit. Either. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. At first, crazy. I thought it was a one time thing. But one thing I've noticed Drake was in the video. What video? The Diddler video that the woman was just talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was just saying. That's yeah, was just who saying. was to say there wasn't multiple videos? Yeah, Drake who's, Noe, to, yeah. who's to say that it's not real? Yeah. Who's to say it wasn't another video? What is, is that every time someone is interacting with Diddy in person, the interaction is always so awkward and they look like they're super uncomfortable. It looks like they can't wait to end the conversation. It just Bob, we appreciate the sub. watch this interaction and tell me something that doesn't feel off about it. Oh, My baby bro, we here. Time. Tomorrow is time. time. Nigga, look at us, Travis. Do that thing, man. Travis. Yeah, oh! Due to that thing? Travis did he, thing? he didn't look at you us. See how Travis Scott wasn't even making eye contact with dude? Yeah, tune in. Let's go! He knew! He Travis didn't look at the camera or did he? Bro tried to play it off like he had somewhere to be. Whole time he was just trying to get away from Diddy. The nigga didn't want to get diddled. Matter of fact, if you watch, he was trying to let us know. I'm about to make a new chat for this nigga Diddy. Every time I see him do some he freaky was ass shit, I'm gonna hit him with the Diddy no diddly, Diddy no diddly, Diddy no diddly, freaky ass nigga. And then we got his weird ass interactions with Meek Mill. You cannot convince me that this is a normal interaction between two grown ass men. Diddy, man, you doing it, man? You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you, I love you. Yeah. Your homie hunched over Me. the pool and you calling him Me. daddy? First Can we have all, some situational awareness? It had to be some other way you could have referred to him in that. First of all, even if you wasn't at the real Diddy parties, why are you sitting in the pool like this, Meek? Well, and you and the coincidences are starting to add Yo, up to the point where we can't help but assume something. I mean, look at this. I was talking Bro! Diddy! Diddy! Why he turned around like he was fucking what? Diddy! Why he only turn around when he said fucking oh move? My Did this God. nigga make no really get his oh booty diddled? God. To answer the question, and allegedly of course, allegedly, yes, because apparently Diddy's ex-security guard caught Diddy taking this nigga Meek Mill to pound town. Everybody. Play it, play it, play it, play it. Just play. passed out. Yo, Diddy had that man in the room. Look, yes, I put my ear to the fucking door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the fuck was going on, overdrive but I just heard balls diabolical. slapping against ass cheeks. I heard niggas struggling to take dick. I heard niggas being like, yeah, Daddy, and I recorded all this shit. This nigga Diddy rich. So I'm finna, finna put the squeeze on and get me a couple dollars and just ain't, you know what I'm saying? And for those of y'all wondering, Nico struggling to take. Nico struggling to take it, dog. He said he was, he said ninjas was struggling to take it. And this is the recording that he's talking about. Oh. Oh, that's. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, I thought the audio was from a, I never heard this, I thought this whoa. was from a corn, whoa. I didn't know it was, whoa, whoa, oh, no, 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 whoa, no, 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 no. those of y'all wondering, this whoa. is the recording that he's talking about. It sound like me. It's oh, whoa! Oh, oh wow! Is fake, bro. I'm praying that the security guard is just doing this shit for the money. Man, I remember turning up to Meek Mill at every party. I mean, that Dreams and Nightmares is a classic. This shit bring every party to life. Talking about, I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like this to shine like that. Now I'm wondering, what was he grinding on? Who were you grinding on, Meek? In the matter of time, I spent on some rock and shit. What did they do to you in that jail, nigga? What happened in there? You better not have dropped that goddamn soap, Meek. And I have not talked about the grooming allegations that people have made about Diddy. People are claiming Justin that he Bieber. groomed Usher and Justin and Bieber. Justin. I moved to New York City. 
and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reed's idea, right? We're sending New you over to something called L.A., Puffy why are you sending him up? There you go. <laughs> Puffy Flavor Camp? That doesn't sound like a place a 13-year-old should be even within a five-mile radius of. It's no wonder Usher always trying to touch up on somebody's wife during his concerts. This nigga got did a- You just played that video. I just played you that clip. You just played that clip. You know what's crazy? They, they asked Usher if he would send his children to the Flavor Camp, and he said no. You know the craziest Hell part? No. The craziest part about Usher? I saw him recently. Nigga looked like he didn't have a soul. The nigga had a bag under his eyes, and his eyes looked like just soulless. Man, he is working like a dog in, in Vegas <clears> right <throat> now. Usher? All these shows is his Vegas residence. Why? That's what he been doing. That's what. Is he in debt? Like, uh. No, no, no. Uh, he just, like, got his thing in Vegas. Kind of like uh, the Jabberwocky. Okay. I don't know if he's still doing it, but that's, yeah, he was doing a. If I. Yeah, Usher was going crazy. Into a freak. Learn Flavor some... camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's going to. In pre... the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like. No, just nigga. Filled with chicks we and don't. Forging, like, nonstop. I want y'all to tell me if any of this looks normal to you. And keep in mind, when these events took place, no, Usher was 13 man. and. Diddy was 22 because they have oh. a nine year age gap. That's my brother oh. right here from day one. We used to wake up and I mean, fight over the cross. I mean, I mean, that bro, that's Kevin. That's Kevin. That's Kevin Hart, nigga. No, this is an interview. This is an interview. But I'm saying, but that's Kevin Hart. There's no Kevin Hart, probably. Well, they did say he was at the uh. Off. But no, no. In this clip, Kevin was like, "Whoa, what did he just say?" This is the interview that he wake up and he took the mic. Damn, pause, but like, that's how, I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like ten and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the frosted flakes. You know what I'm saying? Before pause was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the. All for the frosted flakes because he used to always get up early. Really? <laughs> now he's one of the richest stars yo, in the world. And I'm yo, like, what, what the, the fuck, fuck did Puff just say? Why is a grown ass 22 year old it's, it's wrestling a 13 year old bro. boy over some cereal? Diddy it's told him personally that he had sex with Usher. Oh, and when you look at the lawsuit, deal. even though they got Usher next. Wow! Wow! He told him personally. 22 year old wrestling a 13 year old boy over some cereal. Diddy told him personally that he had sex with Usher. And when you look at the lawsuit, even though they got Usher name redacted. Who, who is this? This the Diddy's former bodyguard. This the one we just saw? Nah, this gotta be a different guy. The other guy was dark skinned. Yeah, bro, I wholeheartedly expected to click this video and hear mostly, and hear information that we already knew. We just record, I thought we was just recording this to get a Diddy video for the second channel. I, the audio and this clip some of these interviews i ain't never seen some of this shit so if all of this is available to the public imagine how much it's is not how much is it. this is just stuff this is just clues that he been leaving over years and people exposing him imagine what the fans got and the freak off videos that's, that's behind closed doors and the bro videos in his phone and his somebody get his iCloud why is his iCloud not been don't don't hack people don't hack people but why is why have they not his iCloud it, you could tell who it is because they described him as the guy that performed at the Super Bowl Puff and Usher did have a situation and that they situation led did. Usher to the hospital and these allegations this is so much it's just so Ain't no, no way, way, bro. There's no way. That's no way that's real, bro. This nigga Diddy, put that nigga under the jail. Usher, I'm tired of Usher. Oh, oh here it is. Bitch. Oh. Got your asshole ripped open and the only thing you it inspired was loyalty? They ripped your asshole. Then you take Justin Bieber from Lily White, Canada, yeah, Justin. and take him to the flavor of fuck off, the kitty Come edition. On, bro. Get his asshole ripped open. Now everything's on, coming out, bro. and the first thing you do Come is on. run to Bali with another kitty Ray who works with the man, L.A. Reed, that sent you to the Diddy flavor freak up. So I obviously can't confirm Come any of these on. allegations. Who the hell, who the hell is the, who's the cougar lady or Jaguar? Who's Jaguar? Oh, bro. bro, this can't be this, real, This is bro. insane. This is insane. Go, but if they were deep. true, they, they would make deep. these videos make way more sense. <clears throat> I mean, just look at this interaction that he had with Justin Bieber. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I did see this. He was check, uh, seeing if he had a wire. He ain't, you ain't slick, did he? Was he? Seeing, he was seeing if he had a wire and, and like, you ain't supposedly slick. he asked him, are you wearing a wire? That's why he shook his head. No. Wow. Dude, why are you touching another man's chest that many times? Whoa. 
Justin Bieber never makes any eye contact with dude. And you already saw this at the beginning of my video, but we gotta rewatch nah, this shit. Bro. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me too, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Justin. As an old head, why are you that pressed to hang out with someone that young? And also, why is he that nervous? Y'all gotta keep in mind that Justin Bieber is like a child superstar. Yeah. So he should have plenty of experience talking to people. It just doesn't seem likely that this he would man. be nervous and stuttering in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. But I ain't gonna lie, I, I truly feel like Justin is a, um, a victim. I feel like his parents sold him off for money. Because did you see what happened with him and that lady? Uh, when when she won a reward and she kissed him mm -hmm. and he was like bro like and she like forced herself on him yeah yeah yeah, yeah like yeah, that's yeah. sad I, yeah i ain't gonna lie to you i think obviously there was a reason for justin's crash out years yeah his crash out years was it was it wasn't because it was too much fame and no it's sad, it was bro. the fame mixed with the victim. being a victim yeah, bro yeah bro with someone who he's hung out with before unless there's a deeper reason behind that mm -hmm. but you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Five. Yeah. Now I want you to pay attention to Justin's behavior in the last video I showed you compared to the video I'm about to show you now. As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every he time. He was excited. Yeah, this will be off. He was excited. So he was I'm excited. Gonna, it's a little dusty, but you know, let me get the front shot in Man. 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 Okay. This is the beginning. Okay. Alright, so, so I'm gonna be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Notice how he's talking normally and he isn't nervous at all. So what's happened ah. since then to make him so nervous yeah. now? When you get 16, you're right. good to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. Alright. And then when you get 18, you get the house. You okay. get the mansion. Okay. I yeah. get the mansion. Yeah. So check this out, yo. Um Justin, he's in you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now he's 48 having 48 hours, hours with yeah. Diddy, him and his boy. Um they're having the times of their lives like 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 you know with notice how he's talking normally and he isn't this nervous is at all so what's happened since then to make him so nervous now Bro, where we hanging out and what we doing um we we can't really disclose why are you with another person's child and you're talking about you can't disclose where you're taking them that just seems strange Bro, to me i had legal guardianship of usher when why who did it he, he did his first album i did usher's first album. i think I, that's Bro. that's that's bro I'm, I don't want to be... Bro! Bro, I'm gonna be real, bro. I'm happy I'm a YouTuber, bro. I'm happy I'm a YouTuber. I don't want to be a part of the industry, bro. I'm, I don't want to be a part of the industry, bro. Because it, it, it's, it's not... Too much going on, bro. Usher's parents and Justice's parents ain't shit, bro. They not, bro. It's one thing... L.A. Reid low-key ain't shit either. <clears throat> it's one thing for L.A. Reid to send Usher to Diddy to, like, learn the industry and, like, help him make better music. Why did he I have think. guardianship? Yo. Yeah. Who? Yeah. What guardian? Who was his guardian before yeah. that gave this nigga Diddy guardianship over Usher for a summer? Who was it? Was it his parents? Was it a? Was it grandparents? Was it an aunt or uncle? Who, nigga? I don't really. I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next forty-eight hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and we, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. If you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. Did he say like buck or butt? Buck full crazy. Almost at 10k subscribers. Buck Don't forget to like, crazy. comment, again, subscribe. Buck great crazy. video. Great bro. video, bro. Great video. Great video. 4D Shams. Y'all sub up, man. You know what I'm saying? Boy, 11.6. We got another video we're going to check out from uh, tomorrow. But y'all sub up to that man, bro. That's good.